All right, guys, Mark Boy 316 here with another video. It's gonna be a uh, DVD uh, review on the weekend that I ended up watching uh, WWE No Mercy 2005. Uh, good big review. Uh, uh, Legion of Doom, Christy Hemi versus Eminem. It's not a great opener. The fans were into it though, they popped for the ending. But Christy Hemi and, and Hyder Dragon Animal win over Eminem. I would have made Eminem win them because Hyder Dragon and and uh, Animal had just beat them for the tag title. So I would have had Eminem get the victory. At least it would have made uh, something interesting. But Hemi basically could have wrestled for much. And uh, Hyder Dragon absolutely sucked. Animal was past his prime. So yeah, I would have put the young guys over. But that's what it was. It wasn't that great of a match though. Uh, then we had Eddie wishes Batista good luck. Like little backstage segment because Eddie's facing Batista for the world title on this pay-per-view. Uh, Lashley versus Simon Dean. Just to pull Lashley over uh, with a squash match. And uh, uh, the thing was that uh, Simon Dean had, had to eat all these uh, hamburgers. All 20 of them if he lost and he did lose. So yeah, and that was a, a thread throughout the show that uh, Lashley was making Dean eat all the burgers. Uh, then we have uh, Fatal 4-Way, Chris Benoit versus Booker T versus Orlando Jordan versus Christian. Benoit was the U.S. champ, and this was a great uh, Fatal 4-Way for the U.S. title. Suplexes everywhere, hard-hitting, uh, good stuff. Christian was on his way uh, to TNA at this point, so he figured he wasn't going to win. Then you had Orlando Jordan, all right, he had lost in 30-something seconds at SummerSlam, I think it was. And then Benoit and Booker were probably the two odds-on standout people in the match, and Ben winds up uh, winning. Uh, and I think he ended up winning with the sharpshooter uh, again. Over, uh, uh, did he get Booker or Christian to submit? I think he got Christian to submit. But yeah, and then Charmel got all mad at Booker for, for losing. Uh, then we had Harker Holly versus Kennedy. Hardcore Holly versus Kennedy was uh, an okay match. Made Kennedy over, beat a veteran. Good match. I thought it was a decent match. Uh, then it's Rey Mysterio versus JBL. Great match. Uh, JBL had lost quite a bit this year after losing the, the, the WWE title. This was a great match. Mysterio hitting all of his aerial offense. JBL ended up winning with a clothesline. Great match. Uh, then it was Undertaker versus Randy Orton and, and Cowboy Bob Orton in a handicap casket match. This was a good match. Orton had beat Taker at SummerSlam with the help of Bob Orton. Uh, chair shots and I think there was a fire extinguisher involved. And at one point Orton and Taker go back uh, together in the casket. And uh, or, uh, Bob Orton doesn't know what to do. Finally they come out of it. Uh, they used the fire extinguisher and the... Uh, Chair shot to the head to keep Taker down and win the match. Uh, Taker had to put both opponents, you know, he, they only had to put him in the casket. So, And then at the end, they set the casket on fire in a call back to the 98 Rumble. So I thought it was a great match here. Uh, then we had Hoovy uh, challenging Nunzio for the Cruiserweight title. Hoovy had won about a Royal Velocity to get the shot. This was a six minute match, a high paced uh, match. Hoovy ends up winning. So, new Cruiserweight champion. And Simon Dean is forced to finish the, the, the cheeseburgers in the backstage ma backstage segment. That match that didn't have to happen. And then we had the World Heavyweight title. Batista versus Eddie Guerrero. Great match here. Uh, Eddie at one point. Referee was down. He was going to cheat. Neil Batista with the belt, I think it was, or a chair. And they ended up uh, not doing it. Batista wins with a spine muster, not the Batista ball. So, and I think Eddie at, at one point... If he hadn't passed away, this was his last uh, pay-per-view. Uh, would have ended up winning the title at some point. So, this was actually a pretty decent pay-per-view. Me and Porter's unboxing reviewed it. I think I gave, we gave it a 9, I think. But the uh, opening match in the Simon Dean and Lashley match were not uh, the greatest. But the rest, pretty damn good. So, No Mercy 2005. So, thank you guys for joining me. I'll catch you guys in the next one.